Being a professor for 15 years taught me a lot, and these are the most important lessons that I learned. To maintain momentum for my life story, I dropped the cap and gown for the next chapter. Hey everybody, Dr. Z here. Today we are talking about writing, which is simply a formal way of thinking and articulating our ideas, beliefs, and opinions and sharing them with others in a very ordered and logical manner. A lot of people, once they get out of school, aren't having to do very many different types of open writing or creative writing. They're having to write in a very structured, limited format, um, usually sort of business report or executive summary style. And that's fine because you can still be an effective or ineffective writer even with very clear structures for how you're supposed to do your writing in terms of format. First, there's no such thing as a brilliant writer or even a brilliant thinker. The people that we think and we ascribe that brilliance to, whether it's thinking or writing, they take the time internally to go through those ideas and make sense of them, um, unpack them, try to pop holes within them. They're really trying to ensure that those ideas make sense and are useful. And some of the best writers on planet Earth, someone like Stephen King, who's extremely prolific, uh, both famous and has critical acclaim, he says there's no such thing as good writers. There's only good editors. And I believe that can extend to being a critical or a brilliant thinker. You have to have a lot of quantity of ideas in order to come up with the quality ones. So again, the more we're open to creating ideas, the more we're open to extended forms of writing, the better writer and thinker we will become. Last and most important is probably when you should take action. And that occurs when you are hearing feedback from multiple people that you've shared either your written uh, project with or your ideas with, and there becomes a pattern that emerges from that feedback. That is uh, the market, if you will, or people telling you something that should occur, and you should listen to that pattern and take action on it. So just remember, have courage, believe, believe in yourself, believe in your ideas, use the people around you to make those ideas better. And there's no such thing as gifted writers. There's only gifted editors, people who are willing to commit the time and energy uh, to get better at their writing, to get more clear with their ideas over time. Have a great day.